Here's our field. We painted in less than an hour using only tape measures, aerosol cans, and paint sticks. We're gonna show you how to do it. All right, here's all our tools we're gonna to use today for our soccer field lining. We're out in the country. We're gonna put a soccer field 180 feet wide and 300 feet long, because that's what fits in the space we have. Right now I'm running my first tape measure, 300 foot, the length of the field, along the sideline. After I get this to 300 feet, I'm gonna go to the other end where Ryan is, and we're gonna square up from that side. Right now we're doing our three, four, five, 30, 40, 50 to square up our corner. Thirty foot on the short side, forty foot on the second side, and then fifty feet on our diagonal. We got to do a little bit of adjustment. Yeah, it looks like we're right on. Okay, we have our north end and our east end of our field laid out in tape measures. We're gonna Ryan's coming along with another tape measure, three hundred feet along our west side and I'm going to stick a tape here at 300 feet and go to along the south side you can see somebody's done a repair still sand here you can see we have all our tape measures laid out now we're going to paint the inside while Ryan paints the line, I'm gonna make all the marks for our little and big boxes and our half line. Ryan's painting to the inside of my tape measure. We're using the tape measure as our guide and we're gonna use it for our layout. I have all my dimensions on this little piece of paper that I printed because I'm doing 180 wide and 300 feet long. So I have all my measurements halved and each mark going down each sideline so I don't have to stop and do math. All right, here's the diagram of our soccer field we're going to use. I'm going to put marks on the outside of the sidelines at 18, 54, at 150 for our center, and then I'm going to put one at 246 for the top of the box and a dot at 282 for the small box. For my end lines, I'm gonna put a dot at 24 feet for the big box, 60 feet for the small box, 120 feet for the small box, and 146 feet for the big box. Or you can flip it around and you can go from center, like on this one, and you can just go 30 on each side of center and 66 on each side of center. So either way works. Here's a dot for my little box, 18 feet, Put them on this side of the tape so it's 282. For my big box, I'm just going to put a dot three foot for our corner kick box or radiuses. Three foot. All right, the center of our field is going to be 90 feet ends be 90 feet so I'm gonna put a center mark at 90 and that's where I'm gonna run a cable end to end so I have the center line of my field 24 inch goals or I'm sorry 24 foot goals so that would be 102 and then I'll put a mark for my goal box which is 30 feet from center. My center is 90, so that's gonna be 120. And I'll put that mark right on the field. 120, and then I'm gonna go, you know, we got horse poop on this field, that's weird. Our big box is 132 wide, so that's 66 feet, 66, plus 90 is gonna be 156. That will be the one side of our big box, 156. We'll 
go to the other side here. That's our center. So we had 90 minus 30. It's going to be 60 for our goalie box. Ryan will put a second coat on our outside line. So we go 66 from 90. All our marks. Now we're going to do the west side. Corner marks put in three feet from the corner on each side, and we'll make our radiuses after the fact. 18. That's for our small box. Then we're going to go to 54 for our big box. We'll put a small mark on the sideline. 54. And then we'll put a mark at 150 for our half. 150 at our half inside the line we'll connect that and then we'll go to the other side ryan just ran a a cable down the center of the field and we'll use that to measure off of as we go down and do our marks all right we have our outer perimeter lined with all the marks set so now we're just going to run a string across the top of our small box and then work our way north and then we'll take a tape measure off the center line and use our measurements so we don't have to create squares we'll just run with our lines and we'll show you where to make the marks ryan's coming across with the string to do the top of the goalie box the small box the top top center of the goalie box String to string, we're going to put our stake at the center with our tape measure. And we're going to measure 30 feet, which is half of 60, which is the length of our box. Here we are at 30 feet. Ryan's going to put a mark. And then we'll go to the other side. This will be the right side of the goalie box. And we'll come to 30 feet. Put a mark. And now we'll get out of the way. Okay, we have the top of our line painted. Now we're gonna move to the top of the big box. Here's the top of our big box laid out. We're gonna go 66 feet each side of center. Now we're going to put the, our stake back into the center of our strings and go 66 feet each side and make a mark. Hopefully our math is right. 66 feet, make a mark, go to the other side. he's painting as he's walking no wasted time always moving with a paint stick no special equipment here just a paint stick and a can of paint and here's our 66 that's the top of our big box now we're gonna put a stake in at at the center by the goal to get our penalty marker which we need for our radius Set it in. And we'll go to 36 feet, which is 12 yards, for a penalty marker, which will be one foot wide, 36 feet. Six foot mark or 12 yard mark, penalty marker. We're gonna set our screwdriver at the center and do our arc on top of the box. We have our tape measure on top of our paint stick at 30 feet, which is a 10 yard radius. 
and we're just gonna walk it out. Ready? Yep. Keeping the tape measure very tight and keeping our paint stick straight, we're making the radius at the top of our box. There's our center line. And just like that, the now that we have our south box is almost complete, we're going to go to the half line, walking north. Here we are with our half mark. And while we're in the center, we'll put our circle. Okay, we've got our center line down. We have our X for the center. We're going to do our radius, 30 feet or 10 yards. And we'll walk with the tape with the paint stick. All done with a paint stick. No special tools required. Screwdrivers, tapes, and paint sticks. Okay, we have 30 feet at our stick. And we'll keep the tape straight and tight. And put down our radius. Watch the center string. Nope, a half line string. Complete circle. Almost in the top of the opposite box. Putting our string across the length or the width of the field and we'll go to our center line and go 66 feet again. Now we're doing the top of our goalie box, small box, the last one. And then we'll do our penalty marker and our top of the box radius. Penalty marker, 34, 35, 36. One foot mark. We have our tape at our penalty marker. And we're gonna do the top of the radius. We're the radius on top of our big box. So we're looking for 30 feet. Ryan's gonna put it at the top of his tape. He's got 30 feet at the top of his stick, and he's keeping it straight, he's keeping it tight, and he's walking steady over the center. They have a soccer game in about 30 minutes, so we're ahead of schedule. Ready to paint. It would be the east side of our goalie boxes. And we have our string all the way across the field. I'm going to paint the south side and Ryan's going to paint the north side. Alright, here we are on the last side, the east side of our big boxes. I'm going to do the south side, Ryan's going to do the north side. Soccer team's waiting to play. We're putting our last line down. And he's painting the outside. He's gonna double coat. All that's left is reel up the tapes and get out of here. Here's our corner, the finished corner. Here's our field. We painted in less than an hour using only tape measures, aerosol cans, and paint sticks.